I lost my mind this summer, or at least a part of it, and purchased a bunch, a bunch of dossier. A few of these were sent to me, and I'll share which ones those are. Alexandria fragrances. There are some be layered <laughs> fragrances back there. And I also purchased a gazillion and one trillion billion fulfillion duas. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to get ready to film today. I usually do two or three filmings in one day because it takes forever to put makeup on and do hair and figure out what the heck you're going to wear and get all the fragrances lined up or the makeup or the products or whatever the thing is that you're talking about. It can just be like ridiculously time consuming in a way that it should never be. You know, maybe one day I'll just film bare face. I've done that before for makeup videos. You start off bare face and then pile on the 10 pounds of makeup for the video tutorial or whatever. But the point is it can be unnecessarily stressful trying to figure out what you want to look like for the video. Uh, yeah. So today there were some disasters. It's raining outside. It's super humid. The hair, it looks fine on camera. Okay. But it just, it, if you saw what it looked like when I first curled it, you would understand my ladies who curl your hair or gentlemen who curl your hair, whoever has long hair that you do, you know what I mean? You get it to a place and then, you know, you walk literally from like your bathroom where you were curling or styling your hair to exit the door. And all of a sudden it has transformed and dropped and all your curls have fallen out. Like it's so crazy, right? <laughs> The other thing that I was all stressed out about is what jewelry to wear. I know that sounds so crazy. So does anybody remember Silpata? It was like this huge, huge thing. I think it was MLM, was it? I don't remember. Well, I had to be because there were Silpata parties. Uh, and it was like in the, maybe like from 2005 or six or seven-ish, somewhere in that range through the early 2010s, it was hot and people were layering pieces, necklaces on top of each other, bangles and, you know, earrings and things. And so I was looking through my jewelry collection. I don't have a bunch of it, but I really like the pieces I have and forgot that I have had this one. Does anybody have this set? And I was like, is that too much? Like at this point in my life, I'm 46 years old. I'm getting ready to be 47 soon. Do I want to wear like complete sets? Is this too much? <laughs> These are the stupid things that go through your mind. Oh, and look, it has a, a bracelet that goes with it too. Anyway, y'all, and I'm not even gonna tell you what I went through with these fake eyelashes. I was gonna call them stupid fake eyelashes and they are stupid. Fake eyelashes are really a pain in the patoot. They don't stay down, they shift around. And I know most people will go, well, just don't wear them. It's fine. Like no one really cares. Anyway, I don't know. But I really want to know, do you have Silpata? Do you still wear it? Where are we with the Silpata thing? That's not what today's video is about though, friends. And thank you so much for joining me. What we're talking about today is my dupe fragrance collection. I want to start off with acknowledging that people have very different opinions about dupes. If you clicked on the video, I'm going to assume it's because you are okay with dupe fragrances. If you're not and you're just watching, thanks for watching anyway. And if you're not and you're watching and you're pissed, I'll see you in another video. It's okay. <laughs> we can disagree about things like fragrances uh, and still be cool. Yeah. What I would like to focus on in this video is some from Dossier, from Alexandria Fragrances, and from Dua. I also have some from Be Layered. Be Layered and Alexandria are sister houses. So you're going to get similar quality from both of those houses. Uh, but these three, Dossier, Alexandria, Dua, really have great, great, great dupes. So let's talk really quickly, like 30 seconds on what a dupe is and isn't. I just want to be clear that counterfeit is a whole different ball game. When someone is making a product, a fragrance that is intended to look exactly like the original and fool you, the consumer, into thinking that you have purchased the original, I draw the line there. I'm not down with that at all, obviously, and I'm not down with people purchasing counterfeits, right? It's illegal 
to be quite clear. However, this whole dupe thing falls into this other nebulous category. Yeah, I'm going to spend more than 30 seconds talking about this. Those of you that live in academia or anything related to it, you work in research, you work in science, you publish, etc. You're really close to the concept of intellectual property. So, you know, there's the question of whether duping a fragrance, a house like Alexandria Fragrances, for example, the vast majority of their collection is inspired by fragrances. And they tell you right on the website, this fragrance is inspired by Tom Ford's fill in the blank fragrance. They're not trying to hide that. It's clear. So I wonder if that counts as infringing on intellectual property if they're giving credit directly to the original fragrance. One could argue because it's such a close attempt to copy that it does count as intellectual property infringement. So I guess the question I would raise is, is it okay that these are nearly direct copies of original fragrances if the house tells you, hey, this fragrance is inspired by this other original thing and it's really clear what they're trying to do. So let's stop there. You can make up your own mind. Obviously, I am okay with dupes. That's my opinion! You saw from the clip leading into this video that I have a lot of dupe fragrances. I started off with just a few. In fact, I started off pretty skeptical. And then as I got acquainted with them and realized that I'm getting a very, very similar, nearly identical fragrance experience as some of the originals at a fraction of the cost, and typically the dupes last a lot longer than some of the originals, it kind of became a no brainer to me to explore the world of dupes. So that was a super duper long intro into the video. Let's get to it. What I'm hoping to do in this video is pick out just some from my collection from the three houses and the ones that I think are really close to the originals and share with you just some impressions and hope that that might inform your purchasing decisions or help you with decisions. So Dossier sent me green verbena. All the bottles look like this, so I don't know why I bothered to show show it to you they all look like this they have the notes there in fact you've seen a gazillion dossier videos out there there are folks that do the entire unboxing and go over a review of the entire house you can go check out those videos this one is supposed to be a dupe for creed's irish tweed i haven't smelled that to be honest with you but i can tell you that this is a nice fragrance it's very green and aromatic would I wear this myself? I probably would, but in the summer when I was wanting to feel fresh and clean, it is a masculine fragrance and it's something that I will probably see if my husband wants, but I like the fragrance a lot. Bougie Fragrance did a really nice review on green verbena if you want to go check that out. They also sent me Oriental Cherry, which is a dupe for Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. I have Lost Cherry. I love Lost Cherry. It is my absolute favorite cherry fragrance. Yes, it's ridiculously priced. I got that at half price and it was still crazily priced, but I loved it so much I had to have it. And it's one that I want in my collection forever, ever. It's in my top 10. I think that this is a really fabulous dupe for Lost Cherry. It's nearly spot on identical. In fact, on skin, you can't really tell the difference between the two unless you sit there and analyze and analyze and analyze. So Oriental Cherry gets two thumbs up from me. I would advise anyone who's looking for Lost Cherry at a more affordable price to look at Oriental Cherry from Dossier. I picked up Oriental Vetiver, which is a dupe for Balda Freak from Byredo. I think you all know how I feel about Byredo. I won't be buying any of their fragrances for lots of reasons, but I do like some of the scents. Balda Freak is one that I do like. I think that Oriental Vetiver is close enough to Balda Freak that if you're looking for something like that, this would be a great alternative. I picked up Woody Tobacco, which is a dupe for Replica's Jazz Club, and I think it's close enough. This one, you can get a lot of the rum and the woodiness in here, some of the vanilla, but it is close enough to Jazz Club that I'm happy with it. 
I picked up Floriental Vanilla, which is a dupe for the original Black Opium, and I prefer this to Black Opium. It's stronger, it's deeper, it's nicer. I really enjoy this and it lasts a long time. The original Black Opium didn't last very long on me and it was just a little bit flat, so this is better for me. And finally, I picked up Gourmand Patchouli, which is a dupe for Angel, and I think this is extremely close and long-lasting. So if you don't wanna bother paying for the original Angel, or you'd like to layer it with something, or you want something to travel with that smells like Angel, so you don't take your original, Gourmand Patchouli might be a good choice for you. So that's my dossier collection. They did give me a discount code that you are welcome to use. I don't get anything from it. It's for you and it's 10% off and it's Veronica 10. I will put that in the description box as well. Overall, I give dossier a thumbs up and would say go check out their website if you're interested in dupes. Their bottles are not my favorite. They do have the magnetic cap on them. They're pretty simple in style and they have the notes on the labels, which I think is nice. I don't like that the label on some of them has started to sort of puff up, but you know, that's minimal. The prices on them are very, very reasonable. So we're gonna move on to Dua fragrances. I have 25 Dua fragrances at this point craziness. If you saw my dupe video this summer, I think I called it bargain or bust. Um, I kind of ragged on Dua a little bit and said <laughs> that, um, what does it mean to let a fragrance macerate? You literally spray some out to introduce air into the bottle. You put it in a dark space and you let it just sit and mature for a while, anywhere from two weeks up to multiple months. So these Dua fragrances that I have have been sitting for months, by the way, at this point. I purchased them this summer, so they've been in the dark in my closet for over two months at this point. Anyway, in that video, I mentioned that the maceration process was a bit of a, a big ask for a consumer. If you purchased a fragrance, you should be able to use it right away. I still think that that's true. At the same time, um, I have come to appreciate Dua fragrances in general. Now, Dua of the houses that I have mentioned, ounce for ounce is the most expensive compared to the others, like these 30 mil bottles at $65, I think they are, $60, somewhere in that range. But if you sign up and wait for their 30% off weekends, that is when I racked up on these. So some of them were already on sale and then I got an extra 30% off of these bottles and that's how I got to my 25. Uh, I don't know if paying 60 something dollars for each of these 30 mils is really that reasonable when you think about it being a dupe, um, but you do get a pretty good fragrance that lasts a long time for the most part. So one that I was especially interested in trying is Carnal Desire. By the way, the bottles all come with the name on the side like that and their own unique label. I do not like the bottles and I really quite dislike the labels. I find them to be tacky to be honest with you, but I'm going to look past that. But that's why all of these fragrances are sitting in my closet. One, because they had to macerate in the dark and two, because they're just not very pretty to look at. Although what's inside is great. Carnal Desire is a dupe for Frederick Mall's Carnal Flower. That was a mouthful. I have sampled Carnal Flower and I think that this is close enough for my taste. It's not directly on but gosh, is it close? I mean, to the point where in the air, and this is the thing about all these dupes, if you sit there and analyze it, yeah, are you gonna get a one-to-one? -one? No, but guys, the point of buying the dupe is to get the general same experience as you would buying the original at a lower price. So anyway, Carnal Desire fits the bill of Carnal Flower. Same idea, very, very close, difficult to detect the difference in the air around someone. So this is a thumbs up. Next, I wanna talk about Collateral Damage, which is a dupe for Initio Side Effect, which I have sampled, which I love, which I would actually like a full bottle of, if it goes on sale. So for now, I'm gonna hang out with the Dua version. Do I think this is an exact dupe for Initio side effect? Not quite. It's close, it's in the ballpark, and it's nice. I would say that the Dua version is a bit more leathery than the Initio side effect, um, which is deeper, more sensual, a bit more spicy, but I still like this a lot and it's close enough that it gives you the same idea of Initio side effect, although not an exact one for one or uh, you know super close 
in the ballpark of initial side effect. But I do like this and it will do for now until I can get to initial side effect. Next is one that I do think is close enough to the original to satisfy me for now. And I will not be thinking about purchasing the original for a while until I go through this bottle maybe. I don't know, don't hold me to that. <laughs> It is Crater, and Crater is a dupe for MFK's Grand Soir. I have smelled Grand Soir. I didn't think that I liked it, but I took a chance on this dupe bottle. It does smell a lot like it, or close enough that, as I mentioned, you could do sort of a, a quick one-for-one. -one. I like it well enough in the Dua version. It's a bit softer, maybe, than MFK's version, uh, enough to satisfy me. So this is a yes. Also, Crater. Next is one that really satisfies me in comparison to the original, which I also sampled. It is dark chocolate, rum, and vanilla, which is a dupe for Guerlain's Gourmand Coquine, which is a beautiful fragrance, very nice. I get a lot of chocolate out of the original, and I like this one even more. This is such a fun gourmand fragrance. You smell like a dessert. It lasts super long. I really enjoy wearing this. This is going to be a great cold weather sweater kind of fragrance, a great evening fragrance, a great Netflix and chill kind of fragrance. Are we tired of hearing that yet? I'm probably tired of hearing about it and saying it, but I don't have another expression for it. So yeah, hanging out on the couch and watching movies. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. One that I talked about in my video this summer and that I've been enjoying quite a bit since then is Italiano. And this is a dupe for Zerjoff's Italica. I, thanks to a generous friend here on YouTube, was able to sample Italica. And I did like that fragrance a lot. I found it a bit fleeting on me. I know that it lasts forever on some people. I find this even deeper and more pronounced than Italica. It's like if Italica got amped up maybe times five or something, you might get Italiano. So while Italica is maybe softer, rounder, or people might call it more refined, we like to use that word a lot here in fragrance reviews, this is maybe a little bit harsher, um, coarser around the edges. I still like it, and I think that it calms down quite nicely. It opens a little bit, a little scratchy around the very far edges, to be fair, but it calms down over time and just becomes a really delightful like coffee shop and pastry kind of fragrance on your skin. Like this a whole, whole lot. Yes. The next one I was really happy to get a hold of, it's called A Night in the Desert and it's a dupe for Tom Ford's Sahara Noir. I really like this fragrance a lot. It smells like some other fragrances I have, like if you mix fragrances that have a lot of woodiness, a lot of tobacco, a lot of cinnamon in them, that's what this smells like. It even smells slightly incense -y to me. It's oody, um, and I get a lot of the cinnamon. This is really nice. Uh, if that's what a night in the desert smells like, I'll take a lot of them. <laughs> it smells like a spice market, meets incense in church, meets something very like a cinnamony drink, all kind of mixed together. And it's really nice, a very exotic, warm, spicy, oody woody smell. This one is definitely two thumbs up, night in the desert. I believe that Sahara Noir or Sahara Noir rather is incredibly difficult to get a hold of because it's discontinued. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And so if you're looking for Saharan Noir, you may wanna try Night in the Desert for the same kind of experience. Fantastic. Finally from Dua, I wanna talk about Oud Intense Sunlight, which is a dupe for Fragrance Dubois, Oud Jean Entance. Ooh, this is such a nice one. This may be one of my favorite dupe purchases of the year. I have it sprayed here. Let's take a sniff. So when I first smell this fragrance, it reminds me of what it tastes like to bite into Trident's pineapple twist gum. Amazing. It's like summertime in a bottle, a bunch of tropical fruit mixed together. As it dries down, it starts to smell a little bit like, stay with me here, hypnotic poison with a tropical twist. You get a lot of the gardenia, the alang-alang. 
the jasmine, it gets musky. I really do like this. The opening of this is intense, as it says. Um, the dry down is okay, but this is the kind of thing I'd want to carry around with me over and over again just to experience the opening because it is super beautiful. So I saved the best dupe house for last. It's Alexandria Fragrances, and I am head over heels for Alexandria Fragrances. Just about every fragrance I have purchased from them has been a winner. There was one, and it's King Tut. It's a dupe for uh, Raja's Creation E Enigma that I wasn't very impressed with. The longevity wasn't much, and it was a, a flat fragrance. The rest have been winners. They're deep, they're strong, they're long lasting. In many cases, they last longer than the original and I would go for these each time. So they come in different sizes. Most of mine are 30 mil and 55 mil bottles uh, because I just wanted to try them out and I'm glad that I did. Certainly when some of these run out, I will be purchasing more. But here's an idea of what they look like. They're all the same. This is a 55 mil bottle. They come with a wooden cap and the labels on them um, have some of the notes on the bottom. So that's really nice. It gives you a good idea of what you're dealing with. These are all extra de parfum. This one that I have in my hand is Kiss Don't Be Shy, which obviously is a dupe for Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. And it is spot on. I really like this a lot. I ended up getting a big bottle as soon as it became available. Um, I just love it. Uh, it lasts pretty decently, longer than the original, that's for sure and it's strong and it's exactly the same. I can't tell a difference between the two. So this is a winner, Kiss Don't Be Shy. I also wanna feature Santal's Kiss, which is a dupe for La Labo Santal 33, and again, is nearly identical. I have a sample of Santal 33, I really like it. I'm not one of those people that gets a pickle note out of it. I get exactly what it's supposed to be, a really strong sandalwood fragrance. It's spicy, it's, it's just really nice. This Santal's Kiss is spot on, dupe for it. Yes, there may be like a degree or two of difference, but gosh, it's so similar, you can't tell the difference in the air. And this lasted forever on me, all day long. The next one I wanna be sure to mention is Honey which is a dupe for Nishane Ani. And yes, spot on, very, very, very similar. Uh, I don't think I'll be bothering to get the original, at least not anytime soon. I do like the original a lot and would consider purchasing it, but I think I'll just go ahead and play with this bottle here. So, you know, this is a 30 mil. I might spray this four or five times at the most, and it's kind of nuclear at that point. <laughs> you don't need to overspray. So something like this will probably last me for a very long time. But yes, Hani is thumbs up as a dupe for Nishane Ani. I wasn't gonna mention it because I already talked about it in the duo ones, but Alexandria does have a dupe for Zerzhov's Italica and it's called Italian Caramel. And maybe it's even better than the duo one, maybe a little smoother, a little rounder, a little richer even if that's possible because that one is pretty atomic. Um, and I really like this. So I'm gonna enjoy having two Italica dupes in my collection and I will be using them both. Another spot on dupe from Alexandria and one that I've put quite a dent in already is Chocolate Dream, which is a dupe for Zerzhov's Lyra. You can see I put some damage on this. So listen, when I have as many of these dupes that I do, for me to reach for this as often as I do, that tells you something. It is incredibly close to Lyra to the point where I can't really tell the difference and this lasts on me. I love this. When I run out of this, I'm gonna get a big bottle. Another darn good dupe that is maybe not exactly the same, but close enough for my taste is Gourmand Kiss, which is a dupe for Dior's Feb Delicieuse. Really nice. I'm satisfied with this. I'm happy. I don't need to go hunt down Feb Delicieuse, which I fell in love with years ago. I got a decant of that. So I have this and I'm happy. Maybe my favorite from Alexandria Fragrances and the one that started it all for me <laughs> going down the dupe house road is Apple Crumb, which is a dupe for Parfum de Marly uh, Orjan. Ooh is all I have to say about this. This smells exactly like a freshly baked apple pie, hot out of the oven, not cold apple pie, a hot, warm, spicy apple pie. I know as soon as I run out of this, I'm gonna be getting a big bottle. It is wonderful. Love to hear from you. What is your favorite from a dupe house? 
drop it in the comments. Let us know what the performance is like, the longevity, and how close it is to the original. I hope you have a fantastic one. I'll see you in the next one.